Hi, Tefl Dude here. And if you're a teacher, a student, or you're doing a PhD or a master's, you're probably going to be doing lots of research. That means you're going to be reading lots of books, most of which might be in digital format. Now, I'm going to show you today the best PDF reader which will help you to annotate these digital books. And instead of having to scour through them, looking for your notes, you can print off only the pages that you made notes to. Let me show you a few examples. Now, here's a PDF I was reading on Henry VIII. And as you can see, I've highlighted certain areas and I've made notes on it as well. And as you can see, they're quite spread out. Some are green, some are blue and pink to, you know, note about different things. Well, have a look at this. Wouldn't it be great if you could just print only the highlights that you made? And notice at the top here, it actually gives you the exact page number from the document. So this first one was actually from page 10 of the document here. And then when you write your annotations in your essay, you can make sure you have the right page number when you need to quote something. Now I'll be showing you how to do all this, but let me for a minute just show you what else this PDF offers. You can open up a new document. So if you go to File, New Document, and you can open up different styles like this. I'll show you some examples. Here's one with squares all over it. Or you could have the squares with a border. You can have lines at different widths. Or you can have line, lines stretched to the border. You can also have squares, mathematical squares. You can have dots. And obviously you can have a blank page. One more thing you can do is you can actually import a picture like here. I imported this picture and then you can crop it to make a kind of PNG image just in case you need to do that on any documents. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to install it. You get the free version for 30 days and the final cost, if you wish to buy it, is only 78 euros or $78 uh, forever. So it's not one of these where you have to pay every month. The second part, I'm going to show you how to do what I showed you. I'm going to show you how to highlight, how to print these highlights, and how to make that picture into a PNG. And then I'm going to also show you how I actually use this PDF on my Surface Pro. You can see I've got a Surface Pro here and these are relatively cheap. You can get them for now £200. So if you're a student, you want to be getting this. This is the Surface Pro 5 and it's one of the best models I've ever, ever had and it's still going. And that was 2017 I bought it. And you get a pen, you can write on it, you can make notes. It's great for this PDF reader. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to install it. But if you don't want to do that, you can just skip to how I made the PDF uh, highlighted. Type in PDF annotator and make sure you go to this address. There are other addresses uh, relating to it, but you want this one. PDFannotator.com and go to the download folder. So if you right click, open it in a new link. And there it is. Obviously, if you wanted to buy it here, it's only 70 pounds for life. But we're just going to download the trial, which I believe you get 30 days. So here it is downloading. Okay, so now you've downloaded it. Let's open this file. And here it is. And let's simply install it. 
simply click finish and it will launch. Now when it initially launches, it will give you the PDF explaining all the things that you can do, but it doesn't really explain everything you can do. And that's why I've made this video. So here you can see you've got a 60 day back guarantee if you don't like it. If I go to help and click about annotator, you can see here it says that this is a trial version and I've got 30 days left. Now, the first thing you need to do is to set up the way it looks. For this, we're going to make it larger. And these icons are too small for me. So go to View, Toolbars, and Icon Size. Make it large, because I've got a monitor here. Also, there are two rows here, and we only need one. So we're going to go to Windows, or rather Extra and Settings. We're going to change one or two settings here. Uh, you can have dark, you can have the accent blue or red. But the main thing is the toolbars make it single row. Click Apply. And there you can see the single row on top. Now when you try to close any document, it will remind you that this has 30 days and asks you to buy now. But we'll click buy later. So here's our PDF opened. Now, if you wish to highlight, here is the highlight button here. At the moment, I'm on the pen button. So if you have a interactive pen or pad you can write with or Surface Pro, you can simply write. You can write with your mouse as well. But the highlighter is here. Now when you're highlighting, there's three ways to highlight. Initially, when you click on a color, let's click on green, you can do this. You can go all over the place, which isn't really good if you're trying to highlight something properly. What you can do is you can obviously change the width of it. But if you click this button here auto smooth then watch as i go like this it automatically smooths it out so you can wave and wave and it will smooth it out maybe a better way would be just to say highlight the text so here i clicked on the t and it will simply highlight those letters and it's a bit more strict it might be useful uh, to have the other way, particularly if you have a like a photograph of a document which isn't uh, does isn't OCR'd, so you can't highlight the characters. So that's what makes this good that you can simply highlight any image you like. So let me get rid of them. Now, in order to see your pages, you have to click here on the left and you can see all the pages that we have highlighted in order to print them you need to click on this yellow folder here and you can see here are all the highlights that you've made now notice some of them are underlined as well so you, you can print everything that has a highlight if i go back here you can see even the underlying ones are, high, are printed. So let's go back. Now let's make one or two more highlights just for fun. So I'll put on this grid and I'll just do a few more highlights here. And notice that as you highlight, you will have to save it. See, it says refresh required. So I have to do this and now it will remember that. It's also worth pressing save. Now, in order to print them, click on this filter and you can choose whether you want all the colors. Maybe you just want to print yellow. I, I actually often uh, try to learn a language and I put yellow for the Spanish language or Polish language and then I do green for 
the translation into British. And then you could just simply print only the yellow. And the second time you could print only the green. So it's quite useful that. But here we're going to print all the colors. Again, if you put any text in there, you can print it. The pen marker, or you can omit the pen if you don't want to press to print the pen. And you can, it will only print the pages that are highlighted. So you can leave it on all pages. So click OK and simply click this print list. And here, make sure this says starboard document capture that we want the PDF uh, that belongs to annotator. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm looking for it. I can't see it. There it is. Print to PDF annotator. It must be that one. And detail list with preview. And simply click print. Wait for a few seconds. And now you're given the option to either open it as a new document or add it to the end of this document, which you don't want to do, or insert it into some other document. So we're just going to open as a new document. And there it is. I'm going to zoom out a little so you can see the double page. And there you can see all the highlights that we've made. They're all printed and you can look at them and it might help you to do your research a lot quicker instead of having to go over those books again. Now, remember if you want to open a new book, I'm going to close this. If you wish to open a new document, simply go to style and we can click any of these. You know, we can, let's click this one if you like to do that. And there you can see you have a page with all of this lines on it. And you can write on it if you have a pen, things like that. Hello, something like that. That's with the mouse, no good. So let's go back to this Serena PDF. Now this, I simply copied a picture from somewhere, Control S, as you do. You should know how to paste. And I pasted it in. Once it's pasted in, this is the only PDF reader I know that does this. You can right click it and edit the image. And now I can simply move in the lines and click crop to section. Look at that. Crop to section. Do it again. Crop to section. Let me do that properly. Let's do that. Crop to section. Ta da! Probably needs a bit more. Now, in order to get rid of the blue or any color, simply click this eyedropper. The tolerance is 34. You can make it higher if you wish. And just click the areas you wish to eliminate. Now, we do have a black line here. So, what you can do is just select that thing and you can click make it transparent see so this here thing is blue and as you say make it transparent that's what that's about there's a blob here make it transparent if i wanted to get rid of the uh, this side uh, again make transparent and this little bit here make transparent and let's see what we have now click ok and there we have Serena Williams without this thing. Now, obviously, you can do this, make it thinner. But the best thing is, if you want it to be exact, is to hold down control. And then when you zoom, it will always be the right kind of frame size. So that's how to make a PDF. Oh, yes. What you do is when you edit the image, you can just simply click save so here is my new folder pdf annotator and i'm going to click serena 2 and it will save it as a png file which is what you need to do in order to save this invisible background so when we go to this area there's serena 2 if i double click 
you can see there it is as a picture. So, now just before you go, I want to show you how this works when you have the full page view both on the PC and on this Surface Pro book, which you need to buy. So, here we are on the PC. Simply go to View, Full Screen, and as you can see, you can concentrate on what you're doing. Uh, here it's in yellow. Now you can change these colors by hitting the cog and simply clicking the orange, saying, Oh, I'd like a a blue here and now you can do blue you can do pink you can do these ticks you can do x's maybe you don't agree with this passage say i agree with this point and you just click the cog away and you can go back to writing in blue you and once again you can change the color you know click on the cog and you can change the color to uh, a dark green if you wish and just click the cog and it goes away. So I want to also show you on the Surface Pro as well. To exit, simply click exit full screen. Now I do want to show you on this screen. So I'm going to show you it a bit clearer. So now here on the Surface Pro, as you can see, Let's go to view and go into the full screen mode, which is really nice because you can also elongate it like that. And you can simply read your book by scrolling up and you can highlight at your leisure. So here I am highlighting, I'll bring it in. If it's a bit blurred on here, it's because I'm using my iPad to be the camera. Uh, so highlight away. Remember also with the pen, you can write hello and you have an eraser on the back here. Just turn it around. Or you can simply write hello and to get rid of it, scribble wildly like that. And then it goes away. So. That's the Surface Pro 5 model from 2017. You can get them in most secondhand shops. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. Good luck with your MA, PhD, your studies. Hope this has helped you. If it has, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video when I'll show you how to put Windows on a Mac so that you too can enjoy the PDF annotator. So see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.